had the opportunity to sit in um, the Senate Finance Committee's second round table on uh, health care, specifically on how to cover everyone. Senator Menendez was definitely right on point with what Americans need in order to be covered and calling the question on uh, the insurance companies about why, um, what they're trying to uh, get ahead of their objections um, and uh, get their buy-in on covering Americans, uh, leveling the playing field. I think Senator Schumer, you know, was also very good about being specific mm -hmm. about principles for a public health option. Right. And I know my colleague from Kansas said people don't want the government involved. Well, let me tell you, they have problems with the government sometimes, but they have a lot more problems with private insurance companies. And the bottom line is you need somebody who is not a private insurance company to be in the mix. I think it's important just to repeat, 94% of markets, according to the AMA, are not competitive. People, as Senator Wyden, don't have choices when they work for their employer necessarily. They may get one choice. And if you're a, a worker in Maine or New Hampshire, uh, where if you're a state worker particularly, where your rates are disproportionately higher for the same benefits that other state workers get in other states because there's a lack of competition, I think the question is, are we going to have excessive regulation to try to make all the insurance companies comply to laws, and I'm not for excessive regulation, or are we going to enhance competition? We've got a Congress that's listening to us, we've got a president that's listening to us, and we've got the grassroots going, so it's, it's on. We hear that all the time, have a hand in your health code, this is the time to have a hand. Dial up your senator, you know, write a letter right. to your representative, put your hand in and say, I'm in, I'm in for the long haul. We're all this in. is the year.